Hello, everyone. I'm Cardinal Eric Logan of the Ecumenical Order of Christ. This is service with the Baja Sanctuary. I want to thank you all for joining us. Let's start with the Lord's Prayer, and I hope you'll pray with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please, Father, give us this day our daily bread and sustenance, and please forgive us our sins and trespasses as we forgive those who sin against us. Please lead us not into evil, away from temptation, and deliver us from evil. For yours is the power and the kingdom and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, in Ryle's name, we pray. Amen. Let's recite the creed together so that we can all be of one accord, one faith, one belief. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of the heavens and earth. I believe in Yeshua the Christ, his transcendent Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born to mankind. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He has come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the word of God, the returned Christ, Lord Rael. In his great commandment to love God, love each other. In the holy ecumenical order of Christ, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. In Rael's name, amen. I'd like to make a quick announcement before we get into this. We are going through some changes that you might have noticed on some of the posts and the event description. This is going to be a time of change, as is inherent with the term apocalypse. It is a time of change. New projects are underway. We're extremely busy making that the best that it can be for you and for the kingdom. So please be patient with us. You might have noticed we've moved things to Sunday as opposed to the Sabbath, Saturday. In no way does that cheapen the Sabbath. In no way does that make it not the Sabbath. We're simply gathering together today. And on the Sabbath, we rest, we honor God, and of course we pray. So, I'd like to get into... The, today's sermon. And once again, I want to thank you all for being here, for gathering with us on the cloud as we, as you watch this. Together, we can thank our Father in heaven for letting us be part of the great work of bringing the kingdom, the work of bringing each other home by God's help, home to a land of peace and purpose. As one, we charge toward this Messianic era because we know enough about what it brings to know that we, as a species, need it. We know war will be ended. What remains of today's armies will be a shadow. As surviving nations beat swords into plows and pay tribute to one king. At present, we're watching a global force buildup of superpowers, like, like a tree fattening its fruit before they all fall. We know poverty in the kingdom will be rendered moot. All within Rael's reign, within his reign, emphasis on that, will enjoy a life free of the grind as we know it today. Their labors will instead be spent on increasing their own intrinsic value as a person, measured by what they bring to the collective table. At present, we're watching the global markets suffocating and collapsing under the weight of pandemic shutdowns. Meanwhile, all eyes turn toward stable cryptocurrencies, providing the groundwork for the kingdom to implement the gold-backed God coin. We know sickness in the kingdom will be a distant memory because 
The scriptural tree of life is a literal plant offered by the crown alone. Its fruit cures all ailments and optimizes the body's functions to an extraordinary level. At present, we're watching vaccines mandated to sicken the healthy. Those who survive this evil will still be in need of curing. Rail has warned against accepting vaccinations. Those who listen will fare well. And the despondent masses outside the kingdom will render it service, so they may receive the leaves of the tree of life, which will lessen their suffering. At present, we're watching Earth, and it is a shit show. Any idiot could tell you it's bad. Wisdom can see where it's going and chooses the path to the kingdom through Rael. It's a narrow gate we enter through, but I hope, I hope you're with us before it's too late. The old ways will not save you because this winter of an era is engineered to defy what was and leave a single clear option. The only way forward is by destitution or or by being about the business of our Father in Heaven in Ryle's name. So I hope that's what you're about when this wraps up. May our Heavenly Father bless and protect you. May He face you and shed His light and grace upon you. May He grant you peace, joy, and everlasting love. Go now. You were sent forth to share the good news, to love God and love each other. Amen. In Rao's name, amen.